Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. This is how you're going to make a wireless transmitter for your Xbox 360 to connect to your PC for Minecraft and for other games like Battlefield 3. All you will need is a soldering iron, a controller, a some sort of wire cutter and stripper, a USB cable. Flux is ne not necessary, but it's better to use it. Some solder, rosin core preferably. IN4004 rectifier diodes. And a Xbox 360 ring of light. First, what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to sync that to... You're going to plug this into your console and sync your controller to the console so it remembers it and the actual ring of light and after you do that you're gonna want to take your USB cable snip the end because you don't need that part this is just off an old Nandex I have I have all the so many of these cables and you're just gonna where's my knife I'm going to use a knife for this and you're going and I'm just gonna trim around this so I can strip this easier and it's not as annoying but after that's trimmed around like so you're just gonna wanna you know strip it get the shielding off and you have four wires you have your green your white your black and red and this ground wire which is completely useless so just gonna snip that okay now that you have that all apart you're gonna want to snip each individual end like one and give it a little twist so it stays together and doesn't get messy two I'll have a screenshot for the hookups I'll put that down in the description for you. Three. Someone doesn't want to twist real well. And last but not least, the fourth, the white wire. Doesn't matter what order you go on for that part. Then you're going to take your IN4004 wire. Not wire, but uh, diode. You want to pull it out. Trying to fix this guy out. Not working real well. And there is a gray end. Gray end. That's the front. You want that always to face the Xbox 360 remote. Not the remote, but the ring of light. Let me open up my flux. You're going to want to trim it a little bit. Not too much, not too little. Just right about there. Trim both sides. After that, you should be good. Take your red wire, and you want to put it to where the black side is. The black side is key. Not the gray side, which is over here, but the black side. And what I like to do is I like to wrap the wire around it so it doesn't come loose while in use. And after that's done, I like to use the end of the diode. Just get a little bit of flux. Scrape it on there. Put this down, have my knife hold it because I have one hand because my second hand is using the camera. Well, like, I have another person, if you know what I mean. Then you just solder it. And after that's done, that's the first connection. Make sure it's a nice, strong point. It is. I'm going to tin the rest of these wires. What I like to do is I just like to dunk the heads into the flux. So they're all nice and fluxy. Separate them so that the solder doesn't, you know, stick to all of them and make a big mess. Oh, drop some solder. Alright, after that's done, you're going to look at your ring of light. I'm going to use that same little piece of metal. I'm going to tin the top row because that's all you're going to need to use. And I like to come through with the, t the solder and just hit each individual one. 
It's because the leaded likes to melt easier. And that's what this is, leaded solder, and that's unleaded solder. So I like to bend this one a little bit so I have nice room. Then I tin this to make sure I get the absolute best connection. After that's done, I just go right like this, the last point. Touch it. Ooh, that's a little, little bit of solder, a little too much solder. Hold on, let me get rid of some. Let me get this a nicer connection. Ow, that's hot. Like that. It can definitely be cleaned up. And now we're going to move on. Next is the white wire, and I'll be going right next to it. Let me get my knife to hold this steady. Just like that, soldered on. Next is the green wire. Let's make this nice, neat, and organized. Because who wants to go back there and redo this? Not me. Pull this under. Next is the green wire. It's suggested that you go in this manner so you don't end up getting big blobs of solder everywhere. But next is the green. Touch that. That's soldered. Next is the black right next door. And that should be soldered on. Make sure that the wires aren't touching any of the pins underneath because they are pretty close. Let me just do a visual inspection of my, for myself. And one is touching, so I'm just going to use my knife and flip it up. And that's what it should look like, although I should, I am going to clean it up a little bit. Come on, focus. There we go. That's what it should look like. And after that, I'm going to have the driver software and everything you need in the description along with the picture. And uh, we'll see you in the second part of this video. Alright guys, welcome back to the second part. For this to actually work, you do need to make sure that the Xbox 360 controller is synced to this exact ring of light that you're modding. Otherwise, this will not work and the computer will not find it. But you're going to want to plug in your ring of light to your computer through your USB cable that you soldered. And you're going to go to your Google and type in Xbox 360 controller drivers. Wait for it to load. Go to support. Select your operating system. Download said.exe. Run it. So click I accept and let it install. Installing times may vary depending on your computer speed, but if you're going to be gaming on it, I have a strong PC. Alright, after it's installed, you're halfway done. Let that finish. Now you're going to click out of that. Next, you go to Control Pin, your computer, right click it, click Manage. Click on Device Manager. Click on Unknown Device. Click on Update Driver Software. Browse my computer, let me pick. Then look for Microsoft. Hold on. Where'd it go? Right here. Microsoft Common Controllers from Windows Class. Click the last one, double click it. The wireless receiver from Windows. Click yes. Alright. Now you should be done. Now I'm going to pull up the this piece, where to go. I'm going to launch Battlefield. And it should work. Oh, see, I just clicked the center button on my controller and it says installing driver software. USB input device, and if we go to devices and printers, oh, it's on my second screen. It's right here, Xbox 360 wireless controller. And if I take the battery out, it disappears, pop the battery in as you just heard, power it on, 
and appears and you sell you have yourself a wireless controller game controller settings Xbox 360 controller for Windows got properties on it and I'm moving my mouse up and down left and right not my mouse but my controller and you got yourself a wireless controller that works on your PC comment like rate and subscribe hope you have fun with this hack